The new rules are designed to prevent misery like this. It's 2.20 in the morning, and we're still on this plane. When nine JetBlue planes sat on a New York tarmac for as long as 11 hours without food or water. Now, airlines must provide food, water, and working bathrooms after two hours and turn back to the gate after three, or that $27,500 fine per passenger will add up fast, nearly $5 million for a fully loaded 737. This gives the flying public options. They can go back to the terminal. Uh, they can rebook their flight in the terminal. They can certainly get something to eat or drink. But the airlines view the rules as an overreaction. Last year, out of nearly 6.5 million flights, only 903 were delayed three hours or more. That's fewer than two-tenths of 1%. Airlines have delays most of the time through factors outside their control. Bad weather causes many long delays, but it's not a valid excuse under the new regulations. The airlines now say instead of delaying flights, they may just cancel them outright. Three hours is a very tight window to manage to, so you're going to see uh, more cancellations. I mean, it's just the way the math works. And that kind of math might add up to more trouble for passengers when later flights are already booked. Many of them, I think, will like it. They want to get back, walk around. I think a lot of other ones are going to be upset when they get stuck at the airport, either sleeping at the airport or finding a hotel on their own dime. With bookings for summer flights filling quickly, the next few months will be the real test of whether the new rules will mean less misery. Peter Greenberg, CBS News, New York.